Today on Flashback, we'll show you the very beginning of the first corruption investigation involving the Cianci administration in Providence. This was the investigation that began in the City Public Works Department 28 years ago today, May 2nd, 1984. Last night, Providence police investigators visited three sites off Hartford Avenue. They made no arrests, but they confiscated six vehicles and other equipment. The police were working on the assumption the vehicles were stolen from the Department of Public Works. The confiscated vehicles have been impounded here at the state police barracks in Situate. Today, Providence investigators gave those trucks a very thorough going over. All right, serial number, 7142. Here's how police think the fraud scheme worked. The vehicles were stolen, then re-registered with other identification numbers to hide the fact the vehicles once belonged to the city. Once word got out that those vehicles were impounded, police say more people came forward and they gave the investigators lots of additional information. Now police hope they can use that additional information to locate more vehicles and maybe to make some arrests. And uh, from that day on, Junior over there... Yeah, Junior Frank. That reporter and many others on the NBC10 staff began more than a year's worth of big news stories about the first Cianci administration corruption investigation. And by the end of it, more than a dozen people were charged and several eventually did prison time. This investigation did not result in any charges against the mayor himself. And that's flashback. It's five minutes before.